I'm Raven, and welcome to the bonus Gentleman Project video. Here we're going to be looking at what I wrote down in the diary during the playthrough. Here's the title page. Written down that we are Gage Blackwood. With that Megan Love lady that never came up again. And then I noted down some of the time periods that came up when we first... Uh, well, whenever we encountered an important date, I wrote it down. And of course this in biology. Not that most of that was actually important in any way, shape or form. When we watched the... Uh, the briefing videos after getting scolded by Jack, the theory, find the source, and, and the threat, the practice, what we have to do, because I, I, I figured we'd have a time limit and it probably wouldn't, maybe would not tell us what we had to do beyond that first training video. Then once the temporal rift occurred, I noted down all of the time periods, and I started writing down here, but then if you remember last, I uh, wrote down the altered, unaltered versions. Again, not really necessary. Uh, this, this isn't a game like Mist or Riven where it's horribly, horribly deep. You need to write down every little uh, clue or you're going to struggle. Here's the uh, Sinclair Levador Systems symbol that I drew. Again, not necessary. And here is our map of the submarine base. You see we've got the gas, the, uh, the unconscious thermal scan guy, the pressure plate, the submarine, over here, I started, when we looked at the security monitor, I started desperately trying to draw the uh, the map of the base, which again would have been completely redundant and I gave up. Steven gas canister, and then a list of things to resolve. And that's when we warped off to Sydney, and here we can see the, the labs, lab B, all the walking points, I put some X's in for game overs and what have you, turned out to be completely redundant anyway. And then here's just a little bit of the walkway before you get up to where uh, the robot assassin is. 2310 OGIDCY, the molecule pa uh, puzzle solution. I'm still not sure what you're supposed to do to figure that one out, but we'll look at that in just a few moments. Then we come forward to Mars Colony, and you can see we've got the, uh, the map of the walkway, the tiny, tiny little map that you can actually access because there's not actually that much to do to the Mars Colony, uh, plus the maze, of course. My map of the tram cart system with the more simplified directions. Things that happened. Here's the map of the maze, and oh boy, look at that. You can see that, whoop, you can see that it practically almost connects correctly. So close, so very close. I may have to stop using this book and start using uh, some, some grid paper, so I, I always have reference for uh, these proper things. And of course the directions in the flying scene. And that is all she wrote. Now let's take a look at where we lost those bonus points. So when we finished the game, we had almost a perfect score, but we were just short in a few locations. We were short a couple of points in Caldoria and the TSA, that's because I did not look at the information booth in the lobby of the apartment building. I did mention that that was a thing that existed, but I didn't look at it, so that cost us two points. Prehistoric was perfect, because there's no way you can actually get a non-perfect score there unless you fail the game. We lost two points on Mars Colony. There was apparently an information kiosk somewhere. I don't recall seeing it. I guess it was inside that lobby area somewhere, or maybe in the, in the doorway before the lobby area. We lost 5 points on NORAD 4, this one I'm not so sure about. I would wager that with the saving, loading and hopping around, that either I never actually looked at the security monitor and then continued that save, or I never looked at the unconscious operator and continued that save. It'll be one of those two I reckon. New Sydney was perfect. And we didn't get the last Gandhi point. Now, when we first encountered that first robot, the one, the one in New Sydney, I was just like, oh crap, clicking stuff, and I electrocuted the robot. Apparently, if you use the Argon, which I, I never used the Argon, on the robot, you can peacefully take it down. I don't quite see that one myself, but hey, I'll take the word of the official point score document at its face value. So I just checked and it was in fact trial and error, just memory puzzle. Okay, I solved it. 
there are a number of Easter eggs and special hidden stuff that you can get by holding down the E key and clicking stuff in the game world. I'm not going to go back and look at any of that stuff, unless you particularly won't want me to. But apparently there's an alternative AI, which I believe is the AI from uh, the third one, uh, Legacy of Time. Again, I, I played the demo, I haven't played the game yet. The next games coming up will either be Pixis 2 or Lord of Destruction. I could go back and do Unreal Return to Napali, which I said I would do a very long time ago. But hey, if you have a preference, let me know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Raven, and that's all from the lair. And yes, this is a new microphone that does not sound like absolute tits. Camera microphone, obviously my desk, obviously my desk microphone is right here. This one's no problem. The audio interface is down here, little piece of... That's why it doesn't work, I keep hitting it.